Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Writer's Mindscape. Not gonna do it this time. No joke here? Nope. Okay. Prepare good. to be... No. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting. Uh, I am Tim. I'm Adam. And today we are going to be wrapping up our series on magic systems. <gasps> Finally! I, I know you guys are heartbroken. I am too. Man, I actually have to go and actually figure out what we're going to be doing next week. Yes. Actually, yes, gotta, you do. It means I actually got to work. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> mean work. Oh, they just don't go well together. I mean, just ask my boss at Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, you gotta do something. We're you paying can... you. Uh... Uh, that was not it. I was never told that. that <laughs> look, to do anything. I, I was getting paid to just show up, okay? I'm getting paid to stand here and look pretty. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> right now, this, this, to- this podcast, that's what I'm doing. I'm standing here and looking pretty. Unfortunately, Adam, you have to deal with me. You're not standing or looking pretty. <laughs> I am looking pretty. Not uh, standing, but I'm yeah. looking pretty. Unfortunately, Adam, you have to also have to deal with my mouth moving. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so today we're going to be talking about, in our last episode on magic systems, but more of on how many magic systems should you have? Adam, the answer? 47. Really? I thought that was 42. No, I needed five more. You need five more? Yeah. So this is not the answer to life, the universe, and everything? No, no. Oh, okay. It's just past it, though. Just past that? Ooh, it's past it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the question is, uh, how many magic systems do you have? It really comes down to what your story needs, but some people may think like, oh, I have this really cool story, and I'm going to throw in 12 magic systems. You, you don't need to do that. No, no, no. Now, if your story is going to require that, um, and because it's going to be like an ep- each book in your series, and it's going to be a series, it's going to be like an epic length, and you'll have time to grow these systems. Once again, go for in-depth before you add new. Exactly. We're going to go back to Brandon Sanderson's uh, second law of... No, his, yes, no, third. His third law. Third law. The second law was the we, um, the weaknesses and limitations. Uh, the third law was um, add depth before you go for something new. And that's very true. Now, if you know that the story you're going to be telling will allow you to develop and add depth to all these magic systems to, you, to the point you need, because it's going to be like a 12-book series, uh, and you'll have time to cover your... 18, not that's too many for that, even that many. (laughs) Yeah, I know. But like, your seven magic systems? Yep. That's fine. I mean, uh, make sure you do it well. I wouldn't open your story up with all of them. Grow to them, build to them. Yes. Focus on a few, then then add more, add in little pieces as you need that each magic system. Um, whatever's going to really help the story the best. Yeah, and also, quite honestly, don't make them up on the fly. No, make sure you have, you understand all of them. Yeah. Um, because, or let's put it this way. Make sure you know what you need to know for this part of the story you're telling, at least. So, let's say, like, we're crafting our magic systems for our new world. We know pretty much a lot about our magic systems. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um... Enough to cover a multiple book, like not just one. Uh, a I book. haven't, I haven't really come up to my limitations yet. Yeah, either have I. Um, I, I, I think it's also because I've purposely been, you know, holding the e break on it and being like, no, 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 no. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're staying back here for right now. So, but the, the thing is, like, we've been developing ours. We have enough to go for probably f- several books. Um, but that's the thing. If you know enough for what you need for your story, that's fine. I would recommend you know far, far and more, and better yet, know everything before you ever write the first book. Yeah. But some that doesn't work for everyone. Um, if you're an organic writer and you know you're going to have seven magic systems in your book series, and you're going to f- develop them as you go... Good luck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hope you're a good writer like Stephen King and George R. R. Martin. Not as slow as George R. R. Martin. No. But hope you have something there because um, 
Yeah, that's not easy. <laughs> that's not easy to do. But if you can do it, I hit you. Because I wish I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like I said, like in our last episode, we talked about the look of magic. Um, if you that you want to save some stuff to figure out that stuff as you're writing, so you can have more of that fr- freedom in your writing, that's great. But you should definitely know the main rules that you do not break. Yes. Um, yes. You can bend, but you don't break before you do this. Which is, again, the reason why Brandon Sanderson says, add depth. Right. Um, because you may actually, if you spend more all that time, instead of developing seven magic systems and really focus it on one or two, you may find out that, like, oh, I can do a lot. I can do everything I wanted to do within these two magic systems um, by really diving deep into it. Yes. So it's one of those things where you want to come up and kind of figure that out. Like for our world, we've developed five. Yes. At the moment. So far. So far. I still have my magic system from my world. I have, um, well, I have one specific to mine. Um, I haven't developed that one specific to mine because I haven't had time to work on it. <laughs> at this point, I'm just like, when I get to a chance to actually work out, get there, I'll, or I get a cool enough idea that I think will fit in the world that the systems we already have. Yeah. Um, then I'll like, oh, I'll write that down. I can, I'll start to think on it more, and then expand it, and expand it from there. Whereas, then, then flip it, uh, yeah, flip it, and reverse see, yeah. it. So throw that thing down. Exactly. <laughs> Groove on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get the hips swaying. I mean, <laughs> okay. Show them my sexy love dance. <laughs> Twirl around the pole and drop to, and drop into a, a split. Exactly. Uh, that just no matter what I I've seen it happen. It just looks like it hurts. Yeah, yeah. Wham. Oh. oh. But yeah. So we. I mean, like we like we said, we have five systems in our world, and we've developed a system to allow for these each ones to exist in the way they do. Uh, do we know everything about the magic systems at this point? I wouldn't say that. We have a good idea of how far they can go. Yeah. Which usually means they can go even further. Right. Um, because usually when you think you have, you know your limits and you start and you find, start to get back there, you're like, oh, because you've developed more depth, they go, oh, I can still do this. I can go over here. Yes. So it's really allows for that. When we finally tell the story that we can kind of been building up in our world, um, the main one that we've been doing, because we all have our own other ideas we oh, could yeah. tell. Oh, um, yeah. When we get around to developing and actually writing that, we'll probably hint at all the magic systems. Will they all show up at once? Probably not. Um, since I'll probably be the one writing, the, actually doing the writing of the story, I'll have full control over that. Mm-hmm. Unless Alan can actually decide to write, sit down and write something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to actually write mine. But whatever, I'll have the idea for it. It'll be there. I'll pass it on to somebody one day. Yeah. Uh, but we'll flesh it out as the story needs to know the information, how it affects everything for that. But so other than that, really just kind of focus on what you want for the story and what it requires. And if you still are dead set on having 7 or 20 or 365 um, magic systems, good luck. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think um, people are going to care enough. Or you're going to have a very in-depth magic system for any of them. Unless the big twist at the end is they are all really just one system. That's the twist. Exactly. Ooh, what a twist. But you have to get to that like twelve, like 200th book to really realize and then, that. And then just yeah, flip it on its head right then and there. And you're like, and then, but people have to get there and if they can't get past the first one because you say there's 365 magic systems. And you're going to cover all of them in that first book. I don't see people getting to book 200. Okay. I mean, we're going to get to book 201. Oh, no, no. We're going to get to book um, 1560. 1560? Yeah. All right. No, no, my bad. 1569. Oh, all right. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Screw it. 6969. Oh, <laughs> I knew you had to go there. I had to go there. Double what, 69. What, once I give you an inch, you definitely take that mile. A mile? I take a light, I take a, a light year. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let us know what your thoughts are down in the comments section. Tell us your thoughts on a limitation um, of number of magic systems in your a world. 
This would be no like when we say um, how many magic systems in your world. We're also we're also referring to how many are in your book. So if you yeah. can have multiple magic systems, yeah, um, maybe it's not all show up there. You can always hit that hint at them. But yeah, let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section about this. Um, if you have any thoughts on how to use multiple, um, many magic systems, how to go about that, okay, give that your thoughts down there too. Yeah. Other than that, if you made it to the end of this podcast, give us a thumbs up. Um, make sure you. Join the notification squad. Hit become, that bell. And then become one of us. What is it with your session with this? Become one of us. I'm trying to use it as our like tagline for the channel. I hate it. All right. So I'm going to use it way more often. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> become one of us. Um, and if you want to learn more about writing, you can check out my channel, T Green Books. Links down in the description. Yay, he's actually doing it. Good, because I advertise this podcast. Nothing else on the channel, just this one. I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't well, blame you. Because it's not writing related. I mean, who's, why would I ever um, want to support puddings of a... Musings uh, of yeah. a pudding brain? Yes, musings of a pudding brain. Why would I ever want to support that? I don't know. Doctor Who. <laughs> that's one of the things that's going to go when I take over the world. But, but, but the Doctor's awesome. <laughs> Debatable. Oh. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you. Next week, uh, have you ever posted our uh, chat? Nope. You're not posted our writing nope, chat. Nope, not yet. So next week, uh, our chat will go live about how we develop our magic systems. You can dive there. And you can watch me struggle to figure out what my magic system is yeah, live. Uh, just so everyone knows, that episode was actually recorded before we ever did any of the magic episodes. Yes. Uh, that was the very first thing we did. Yep. And it's been like six weeks later, and I still have no clue what my magic system is going to be. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> I mean, we have all the stuff we've talked about in there. You'll see that when you listen to the that podcast episode. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, when we get to the end, I was like, oh, wait, I didn't do mine. <laughs> yeah, never mind. We can end. I have no clue. <laughs> maybe, if, maybe if I come up with it, we'll, we'll do a second one. Yeah, there's not going to be a second one. Um planning session for magic not currently but after that we will be starting a new um a new series a new topic yes i have a feeling it's going to be on races okay um because we gotta you gotta have um people to be able to get to adam's obsession yeah yeah so we, we do probably, we should, probably should go there first okay um but it could always change i may get a better idea tomorrow or the second we stop recording other than that uh hope you all have a good writing week later Bye now <laughs>